Hello everyone, we will continue the topic module pool programming and we are covering the line selectability functionality in table control with Isart. So we created the button. We created a table in which we will store the received payment line items. Now same to same approach I will follow. In one session, I will go for debugging. In another session, I will write the logic because that is the best way to increase the logic building or coding skills. So what I will do, I will put a breakpoint. This is our screen 100. You all know whenever you will click on to receive payment button, PAI will call process after input will trigger. So I will put a breakpoint in PA. Now I will run and we will see how to write the logic. I will close the other sessions. I will run. I will execute in a new window. Suppose I am going for order number one. I will click on to submit button. Now you all know PAI triggered. On both the actions, yes, PAI will trigger. And we got the result. Suppose user is selecting first and third line item and clicking on to received payment button. Now we have total three records, but user is only only selecting two records. So how how system will identify that you selected the two records? You all know what is your table control internal table LT final. This is your LT final in which we have eight columns one will be used for row selectability and other is for that data. And once I will open the internal table, you will 100% understand. See, I selected the first and third record and the value of that column will be capital X. You all know whenever something is true, value will be capital X. If something is false, value will be space. Suppose I am going for execute. Suppose I am selecting first and second line item. I will go for received payment. Now whenever I will show you LT final, you can see for first and second record, the value of the column is capital X. So I will keep this as it is so that it will be easy for us to write the code. Now in another session, I will open the program and write the code. So I will go to change mode. Now we will write the logic. Compulsory, we need to write the logic based upon psi u pom because now you have two actions. One is for submit and one is for received payment. You have two different functionality. So the logic which is on submit button should not trigger for received payment. And the logic is for received payment should not go for submit. So I will write the logic based upon if condition. So I will write if psi u com is equal to payment. You all know but the function code we gave to the received payment button as payment. Whenever our function code is payment, psi u com is equal to payment because it will capture the function code of the button. Now, just see here itself. Whatever the record user selected, we need to insert those records to this database table, whatever the database table we created. This is the database table we created. We all know we have the database operation. Insert is a database operation 
which insert the records to database table. You can go for modify also. Modify works for both insert plus update. For existing records, it will go for, for existing records, it will go for update. For non-existing records, it will go for insert. So it's totally your wish. You can go for insert or modify because in our case, is our target is to insert the records to the database table. Now, how, how we will insert the records to the database table? So what we will do, I will firstly, firstly from this internal table, from this internal table, we will pass the records to another internal table. And that internal table, will be used to insert that data to this database table. Now, many people ask why, why we are taking another internal table. Can we not directly insert this internal table to database table? Just see, this internal table has eight columns. Your database table has only four columns. So how eight columns internal table, you can go for four columns. Yes, it will be totally mismatched. So what we will do, I will declare another internal table, which will be used to insert that data to this database table. So I will declare. Now I will go to top of the program and I will declare a internal table. Now I will simply write data. Suppose my name of the internal table is LT underscore payment. I will simply write type table of my database table name. Simple. It means this internal table has how many column this internal table including MA and DT has four columns, this four columns. If I will go for yes, four columns. If you are not comfortable by this way, no problem. You can simply create a structure type statement. You can create a structure of these four columns and then you can declare a internal table of that particular structure type. But sim simple, simple understanding. Anyways, I fully explained in database operation. But is table. Table is itself a structure because table is also a collection of column. Structure is also a collection of column. That difference is table has data. A structure does not have any data. If someone asks, is table is a structure? Yes. Is structure is a table? No, because both are collection of column, but a structure does not have any data. If I am writing internal table, type table of my database table, ultimately this table is a structure itself and I am specifying same to same thing. Now, if still there is a confusion, you can create a structure type through coding also, no problem. But do not forget to take MA and DT column because we want to insert to database table. So we want same to same internal table which has same to same columns as that of our database table. This is the main, main thing for the database operation. So this is the way I declare the internal table. I will declare the work area. LWA payment type ZT payment. So our internal table is ready. Our work area is ready. Now I will write the logic for the same. So I will go to our PAI. And now we will write the logic. Now I will put a loop onto this internal table. And if the 
S E L is capital X, we will simply simply move that data to our new internal table. And from that internal table, we will pass it to our database table. Now I will write loop at LT underscore final into LWA underscore final. For every loop, there is a end loop. Now, one by one, record will go to work area. We will check. If LWA final, what is the column name? SEL. That's why I always told you, yes, debugging is always the best way to write a code. If the rows are selected, the value of SEL is equal to capital X. Then we will pass that data to our new internal table. Now, how you will pass that data to new internal table? You with the help of append. What is append? Append work area to internal table. So I will firstly pass that data to work area. What is our new work area? LWA payment hyphen. What is first column? O N O. It is coming from LWA final O N O. Order number, we will pass it to our WA payment order number. Then we have order item number and item cost. Control D to duplicate a line. Item cost. And this is our, sorry, order item number. And this is our item cost. This is our order item number. And this is our item cost. So one by one, record will go to work area. Now from work area, we will pass it to internal table. Append LWA payment to LT underscore payment. We should always clear the work area. Now, whatever the rows which user selected, we are passing it to LT underscore payment internal table. It means those two records, whatever the user selected, it is in this internal table. Now, can we insert it to database table? Yes, we can insert. So we will write if LT underscore payment is not initial. It means if there is some record into this internal table, then only we should pass it to database table. Now you all know what is the syntax for the append? What is the syntax for insert database operation? Insert. What is our database table? This is our database table. From table. What is the name of internal table? LT underscore payment. Now, if you are using work area, if you are going for one by one, then there's no need to use the keyword table and you can write insert database table from work area. If you want more clarity, you can refer the ABAP programming playlist. There we have database operation complete topic. I'll check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, I opened a session in the debugging mode and I showed you for the selected rows, the value of the column is capital X. So what we did, firstly, we have written the logic or if SIUCOM is equal to payment and that is compulsory. Because now you have multiple actions 
and logic should be divided based upon those action. So we put a loop on the internal table in which we have all that data. If SEL is equal to capital X, I pass that data to one internal table. Now, why, why we created a new internal table? Because our database table has four column and your existing internal table has eight column. How eight can go to four? So I declared an internal table, which is directly of our table itself. If you are not getting why, why I pass that table name, no problem. You can create a structure through coding also. It's totally your wish. But just think table is itself a structure. So I just pass the name of the structure. I declared the work area. We pass that data to work area. From work area, we pass to internal table. And that internal table, we insert it to database table. Now, rest part, we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.